rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord.
nine score of the book. I thought it would be in my own trying to be a holy person. I spend so much time, and that's important, but it's of secondary importance. So much time trying to be perfect that I do not open myself enough, I believe, uh, to that transforming grace, the transforming gift of God that comes to every one of us in our vocation, day in and day out, to allow that presence of God to truly transform us. So Joe, you know, try to be perfect, yes. But always leave some time so that you will allow God to spoil you. And believe me, God will truly spoil you. Primarily, first off, your ordination is a gift. It's a gift of the Father through Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. So allow the ongoing and continued gifts to transform you so that you in turn will be open and transformed parent to move those gifts on to the people you serve. The readings that you chose for this uh, ordination are all about you. The first reading from the prophet Isaiah talks of the gift of God, the gift of the Spirit, poured out and shall be poured out on you today in this anointing prayer of transformation. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. Today you are truly gifted uh, in the priesthood of Jesus Christ. And you are gifted for a purpose to go to the holy broken heart in the morning so that you and your own words may transform them into oaks of justice greater glory of God. St. Paul in the second reading of Corinthians uh, says much of the same thing, but he says it with a little different uh, bent to it. He speaks of these gifts in terms of healing and reconciliation. And I quote, and all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, Jesus shed his most precious blood to reconcile all people to himself in his blood. And that is why St. Paul goes on to say that the love of Christ impels us, the love of Christ pushes us to take that reconciliation that has been given to us and and notice especially in St. Paul he says Christ wishes to reconcile all. Christ wishes to reconcile everyone through his blood, making them and giving them peace through the shedding of his own blood. Let that be always your ministry, Joe, to bring all people reconciliation in the saving blood of Jesus. Another story that reminded of a Houston story in my retreats of reconciliation comes from Karl Barth. Karl Barth is a wonderful Swiss uh, Protestant theologian. And Karl Barth says, our God is not a God of therefore, but a God of nonetheless. And then he goes on to explain what that means. He said, our God does not say, you are good, therefore I love you. Nor does God say, you are bad, therefore I hate you. God says, whether you are good or bad, I love you nonetheless. Let that be a guide for your ministry, Job, as you will be dealing with saints and sinners, trying to lead them all Jesus says to you, peace be with you. As the 
May you go forth from this ordination with the peace and love of Jesus in your heart, just bursting to be shed and to be given to the people who serve. And so I conclude with these words taken from the right of the ordination, uh, the right the message that the church wants to hear today. Joe, you are to be raised order of the priesthood. For your part, you will exercise the sacred duty of teaching in the name of Christ, the teacher. Impart to everyone the word of God which you have received with joy. Meditating on the law of the Lord, see that you believe what you read, that you teach what you believe, and that you practice In this way, let what you teach be nourishment for the people of God. Let the holiness of your life be a delightful fragrance to Christ's people, so that by word and example you may build up the house which is God's church. Likewise, you will exercise in Christ the office of sanctifying. For by your ministry, the spiritual sacrifice of the faithful will be made perfect, being united to the sacrifice of Christ, which will be offered through your hands in an unbloody way, on the altar, in union with the faithful, in the celebration of the sacraments. Understand, Joe, what you do and imitate what you celebrate. A celebrant of the mystery of the Lord's death and resurrection, strive to put to death whatever in your members is sinful and to walk in the newness of life. Therefore, carry out the ministry of Christ the priest with constant 